Two, vocabulary. Words easily confused. You can get confused using these words means you don't know which one to choose. Circle the correct words. One, broke and short. This man is broke. He has no money at all. This man is short of cash. He wants to buy a new mobile phone, but he is short. He doesn't have enough money. Todd is usually broke by the end of the month or short. I can't buy a new mobile because I am a bit broke or short. I am a little broke. You can't be a little broke. You are a little short of money, short of cash at the moment, at the present time. Next, we have lend and borrow. This boy is lending the book to the girl. He is giving her the book to use for a period of time. The girl is borrowing the book from the boy. She is taking it to use it for a short period of time. The one giving is the one lending. The one taking is the one borrowing. Could you lend me or borrow me fifty euros? For your information, one euro equals around four Saudi rials. You will give me. You will lend me. I will take from you. I will borrow from you. Can I borrow your car to go to work? Next, we have note and coin. This is a one hundred euro note. Note is a piece of paper money. Coin, round metal that is used as money. That's five point four nine euros altogether. I only have a one hundred euro note or coin. This is a one hundred euro note. Is that okay? Do you have fifty cents? Let me see. I have some notes or coins. This is a fifty cent coin. I have some coins in my pocket. Pocket is where you keep your money in your pants or jacket. Yes, here you are. Take it. Thanks. Here is your change. The remaining money you gave me one hundred euros, and fifty cents. I give you ninety five euros. Bill and receipt. Bill is a request for payment. You use your phone. By the end of each month, you should pay a phone bill. You have electricity in your home. By the end of the month, you pay an electricity bill. Receipt is a piece of paper to show you how much money you paid. After you pay, you get a receipt. That was a lovely meal. I loved the food. Let's ask for the bill or receipt. Okay, you finished eating at a restaurant. You didn't pay yet. You want to pay. You ask for the bill to pay. Here are your new shoes. Take the shoes. Your bill or your receipt is in the bag. You already paid. You get a receipt for the money you paid. Afford and save. When you afford, you have enough money to pay for something. When you save, you put money aside, put money in a certain place in a jar, to save for later, to use it later, to let it grow, to buy something or use it later. I want to buy a new car. But I can't afford it, or I can't save it. You can't afford it. You don't have enough money to buy it. Adam is saving up for a new laptop. This is what Adam's doing. He's putting money aside for later to buy a laptop. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. 
I'll see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye. One. Everything is so expensive these days. I know. I came in here for a few things, and I don't have enough to pay for all of them. Can you lend me five pounds? Sorry, I can't. What? Are you broke again? No, it's just... Well, get your wallet out then. I can't. I left it at home. Oh. Two. What do you think of these bookends, Craig? They're very nice. My brother has the same ones. I may get them for my bedroom. Good idea. Let me see. No, they're too expensive. I'll buy them for you. But I don't know when I can pay you back. Forget about it. Thanks, Craig. Three. Paul, what did you get from the supermarket? Whatever was on the list and a few magazines. How much did you spend? I'm not sure. Why? I was just wondering. Wait, I think I still have the receipt in my pocket. OK. No, it's not there. But look, 50 euros. I didn't know I had that. I love it when that happens.